So hello and good evening. This is Rosa Sola from Curva.com and uh, it is the Power Week. <laughs> I call that when the Power BI team releases a new feature or a new update, a new version of Power BI. They have done it this week and it is fantastic. I did yesterday a video on read through. Today's video is about the new web connector. It's absolutely amazing. So see you in a second. So the feature I am going to review today is the new web connector. I absolutely love it. It is amazing. You know, when you are getting data from web, sometimes the HTML code does not expose the tables that you want or the data that you want. So Power BI is not able to pick that information right off the bat. So with the new update, that is was so amazing, they have actually, they, they have code that reads through the HTML code. And if you just tell, give an example of the data that you have, the data that you see on the table, it will be able to grab it for you. That is absolutely fantastic. I use the web connector a lot. It's one of my favorite connectors ever. And I'm going to show you that functionality because you need to know about it. You need to use it. It's just great. So how about we take a look and I'll see you at the end. Okay, so let's see how this uh, web connector works. I think it is absolutely fantastic. Uh, if we go here first, um, I've actually tried with a few sites. Oh, wait, uh, with a few websites, I just searched the web for, um, you know, people that actually try to get information from a website but couldn't. So this says that, you know, the table was not visible and this is, was one of them. We copy and now we're trying to get this data into Power BI. So we go get data web and paste the link and we now let Power Query do its magic. Let's see how it goes. So we get a return. We get this is the actual HTML uh, code behind the website and it actually finds one table. If we go back to the website, it finds this table, the first one. But the second one, the one that we want, this is World of Tanks. I don't know, it's probably a game or something. Um, so we want to have this table instead. And Power BI did not find it right off the bat. So we go here, extract tables using samples or examples. And the, the thing that's going to do is going to load the site. And when you go into this page the first time, it has a pop-up uh, saying if you want to change region, just click in here to stay in the region. I've already done it, so it's not going to ask me again. And now you can navigate to the place where you see your data. And then this is the table that we want to strike, right? So we go here, lemmings. And this is one of the things that um, got me a bit confused because it didn't do anything. I mean, I don't have any signal that this is actually working. Uh, but suddenly and out of the blue, it started to populate things. Let's copy these. You see, it's like super weird. So now it's getting it. And I'm guessing that I can go in here and right. Cool is this? Okay. And here we have our table taken out from the HTML code. And then you can see here where it found it on the code. It's just gorgeous, fantastic. I really, so this is the entire code. And then it just looked for the words and extracted the text. This is something that people that scrape webs have been doing for a while. They use Python and the usual kind of methods to just get the information from the HTML code. And now Power Query has given it to us. It's just fantastic, awesome, really good. Great job, Power BI team. 
Now, there's one thing. Um, this is the only site that worked. These two other didn't. Okay, so I tried to do the same thing, but it just didn't take me anywhere. Um, if we go close, don't need to apply anything. Can try again, get data, web. I don't know if it has any, if I misspell something. If that's an issue. So it says no CSS selector was found. Uh, so the way this code has been done, it's just not finding, unfortunately. So I just want you to make aware that it might not work with all the websites, but it is a huge, huge improvement. Okay, so I can imagine that you're not with me anymore, that you're already out in the web grabbing information from all kinds of web pages. Great, that's good news too, so don't worry about that. I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope you enjoyed these two updates. The drill to update, the web filter update is definitely my two favorite ones. The formatting are cool and they're like more like medium. <laughs> I think. What are your favorite updates this month? Let me know. And if you have any update that you really, really wish that the team will release, let me know too. Mine is without a doubt M intelligent. So, you know, when you write M code, that it actually helps you writing along. That would be fantastic. Maybe in the next update? Who knows? I'll see you again on Friday. Take care. Bye.